Hi, now here we have an example based around logs. We're given that y equals 3x squared and we've got to show that the log in base 3 of y equals 1 plus 2 log of x in base 3. And then we've got to go on to try and solve the equation 1 plus 2 log of x in base 3 equals the log of 28x minus 9 in base 3. So if you'd like to try this, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready. Don't forget, I've got tutorials on my website on logarithms. So uh, if you're stuck in any way, do go back and have a look at those. Okay, well, let's just see how we do this one. Well, if we just take y equals 3x squared first of all, then to get this result here, we've got to take logs in base 3. So if I log both sides in base 3 of this equation, we therefore have the log in base 3 of y equals the log in base 3 of 3x squared. Now what I've got here is a product. You can see I'm multiplying 3 with x squared. And what we've got to be aware of is this rule for logarithms and that is the log of say any value let's call it a in say a particular base c plus another log let's say b in base c is exactly the same as working out the log of a multiplied by b in that base c and it's this rule that we can use at this stage here to break this up we can say that this is equal to the log in base 3 of 3 plus the log in base 3 of x squared. Now the next rule that we use is the power rule for logs. One again that you should be familiar with. That is the log of say a to the power n in say base c is exactly the same as taking the power out the front of the log. So it becomes n log of a in base c. And we can use that here. We can say that this is exactly the same as the log in base 3 of 3 plus 2 log in base 3 of x. And finally, the log of a number in its own base is 1. This is 1 plus 2 log in base 3 of x. The reason why this is 1, just as a reminder, is that if you've got the log of any number, let's say n in base c, and we call it x, it means, or it follows that, the base c to the power x equals n. So if you've got the log in base 3 of 3, it's going to equal 1 since that base, 3 in this case, raised to the power 1 equals 3. Basic rules for logs then. Okay, so uh, we can now use this result. It says hence, so it's using this result. Hence or otherwise, solve this equation here. So how are we going to do that? Well, 1 plus 2 log of x in base 3 was the result that we got here. That's exactly the same as saying that it's the same as the log of y in base 3. So what we're going to do here is write the left hand side here as the log of y in base 3. And it equals the right hand side here, the log in base 3 of 28x minus 9. Now I've reduced this down to two terms, one term here, one term here, which is what you've got to do when you're trying to solve any log equation. Reduce it down to two terms. So we've done that, okay. Now I can anti-log this, that is I can remove the logs from both sides. So therefore what we have is that y equals just the 28x minus 9. So what I've got now is two equations. 
I've got this one up here, y equals 3x squared, and I've got this one down here. So I should be able to solve them simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is number this equation number one and this equation number two. And so many ways of solving simultaneous equations, but what I'm going to do here is just use the method of substitution, and that is I'm going to substitute 3x squared in where you see this y. So we'll just write a note on that first of all, and that is that I'm going to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. And that gives me 3x squared here, so we therefore have 3x squared equals 28x minus 9. And I've got a quadratic equation on my hands, and in the usual way we need to rearrange this to make it equal 0. So I'm going to subtract the 28x and add 9 to both sides. So I get 3x squared minus 28x plus 9 equals 0. And this factorizes a couple of brackets here, and it equals 0. We're going to have a 3x and an x, and we're going to have a 1 and a 9, and both of these are going to be negatives. If you expand that, you find you get... 3x squared minus 28x plus 9. And then that means that each of these factors could equal 0. 3x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 9 equals 0. And that would therefore lead on to x equaling 1 third, if we add 1 to both sides and divide by 3. And if we add 9 to both the sides, x equals 9. You've got to be careful when you're doing log equations because just check out your values that they are going to work. Remember you cannot take the log of a negative number. So in this equation here if you've got a third you'll be taking the log of a positive value here. 28 times a third well that's just 9 and 1 third. Take away 9 that leaves you with a third so that will be logging a positive value so that's going to be okay. And when you check out 9, you can see quite clearly this will be a positive value and this will be a positive value as well. So always check that out, that you're logging a positive value when you get your solutions. Okay, well I hope that's given you an idea then if you had a few problems on that question.